And there you have Granny's Puzzle. This is a Cozy Joe original. In the future, there will be an Afghan pattern for this. There's a little bit more I have to do before I can get that together. And you can mix these however you want with the lacy squares or the solid squares. Welcome to Cozy Joe Thread Therapy. Today we're working on Granny's Puzzle. I'm going to be working off of my notes. This is an original Cozy Joe pattern. And we start with a, a chain six and slip stitch to form a ring. And then round one starts with a chain three. Chain three counts as your first double throughout. And we're going to do two doubles into that ring. And a chain three. That establishes the pattern stitch for round one. So you'll do three double, chain three, three double, chain three, three double, chain three, and you'll slip stitch to the beginning of your chain three. I'm going to complete that and come back when I'm finished. That's what we have at the end of round one. And now we're going to proceed to round two, which is what I call a solid row. So we're going to chain three, and we're going to double crochet in each of the next two doubles. And we're going to put five double crochet in that corner chain three space. That establishes our pattern stitch for round two. You'll just put a double in each one of those three doubles and then five double in the corner all the way around. And I'll come back when I'm finished with that. That's what we have at the end of round two. Now round three is where we're going to take a left turn and start to do something different. So to start round three, we're going to chain three. We're going to double in the next four double crochet. We're going to put five double crochet in the next stitch for our corner. We're going to double crochet across this side to the corner. That's seven stitches. We're going to put five double crochet in the next stitch and that will be our corner. Now this is the side where it gets different. We're going to double crochet in the next double. We're going to chain two and slip stitch across the next five doubles. Very loosely. Going to chain two, double in the next double. That's what we have, and that brings us to our corner where we'll put five double crochet in that next stitch. Okay, so that's what that side looks like with the little indent. All right, so the rest of it is just straight up. You're just going to double crochet in each stitch across. When you get to the corner, you'll put five double crochet and then complete your doubles and slip stitch to the top of your original chain three. 
that's what we have at the end of round three. You have the little indent on the side. And now round four, we're going to chain three. We're going to double all the way to the corner. That's six stitches. And we're going to put five double in the corner as per our pattern. We're going to double crochet in the next eight. So this is where it gets different. One, two, three, four. Seven, eight. Okay. This is where we do something different. So we're going to chain three and turn that way. So that's what we have. We're going to work a four double crochet cluster across the next four stitches. So we're going to yarn over, pull a loop up in the next double, Yarn over, pull through two loops. We're going to do that three more times. Yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through two loops. Let's see how many that gives us. And one more. So you have four partially completed double crochet. Yarn over and slowly pull through all of those loops on your hook. We're going to chain three and slip stitch in the top of the next double. We're going to chain one. Now we're going to turn. We're back to the right side. Now we're going to single in the side of that chain uh, three. Just anywhere you can put the hook. We're going to we're going to single crochet in the top of that chain three, two single in the top of that cluster, one single in the side of the chain three on the other side, and we're going to slip stitch into the base of that chain three. Okay, so that's what we have with our little bump, and now we're going to continue across this round with a double in each of the next three double crochet. And that should bring us to our corner. And it does. So let's take a look at what we got. So we have this little bump that goes out on the side. And now we've made it back to our corner. We're going to five double crochet in the corner. We're going to double crochet in the next three doubles. We're going to chain two. We're going to slip stitch into this chain two on the previous round. Just in each chain. Slip stitch across the slip stitches that you made on that round. Slip stitch up the next chain two, chain two. So that's what we have so far for the indent. You're going to double crochet in the next three doubles. 
That's the third one. And you're going to put five doubles in that corner. All right, so that's what we have so far. We have a bump, we have an indent, and now we're going to just double in each double across, five double in the corner, doubles here, and slip stitch to the beginning of your, at, at your beginning chain three. So that's what we have for round four. I'm going to fasten off. Just like that. That's what you have. Round five is our joining round. So these are the pieces that I have completed previously and I'm going to attach that one right there. So I'm going to join with black in the top of that joining, just where we went previously. Going to chain one and single crochet right off the bat. All right. Now we're going to single crochet in each double across to the corner. So for our joining round, If this was your first piece, you're going to just complete this all the way around. Now when you get to the indent, you're going to slip stitch across all the chains and slip stitches. Then you're going to continue on with your singles when you get to the corner. Three singles in the corner, single all the way around, and three singles in the corner, and slip stitch when you get back to the beginning. So your very first piece should end up looking like that. Now I'm going to show you how to join the two pieces. So on your joining round, when you complete the bump side and you get to the corner, instead of putting three singles in the corner, you're only going to put two. You're going to take your hook off of that loop and you're going to put it in the corresponding loop on the square you're attaching to. And you're going to pull that loop through. I don't like to join with a slip stitch because it leaves an unnecessary ridge there that you don't need. And then you put your next, you put the third single in that corner. So you still have the three corner stitches, but now it's joined. Okay, so we're not going to do anything with that one right there. We're going to single in the next five doubles across the working square. So you're still completing that single crochet row, but it's on a join round. All right, you're going to take your hook out and you're going to pull that loop up through, let's see, the corresponding single on the joining square, just like that. When you get to the dip, you're going to, I'm going to pull this up, you're going to work through both thicknesses and slip stitch around. So slip stitch, put your hook in the top of the next stitch through the next chain on the working uh, square and pull up a loop to slip stitch. Pull through all the thicknesses. Just like that. And you just do that through each single crochet and chain all the way around. And 
you continue on with your single crochets to the corner on your working square. When you get to the corner, you're going to work two single crochet. Take your hook out, put it in the middle stitch of the corner on the joining square, pull the loop through, and do another single in that corner on your working square. Now you're joined. Okay, now you're just gonna turn it, and you're going to single across, three single in the corner, single across, and slip stitch. And fasten off and you'll be finished with that one. So that's what we have so far. And if you notice, there is a solid square and one with holes in the middle. So we're going to be doing another solid square.